What are we doing right now, Gabe? We're getting a DVD player. We're getting a DVD player. Okay, so it's a long story. But ba oh, hi, Lee. Hey. Hey. No one cares about me. So basically what has happened is that I set up a projector in my room and I got the screen. Everything's pretty much set right. Uh, the TV player is working fine and we don't have a control for it. And uh, we're trying to watch Mad Max Fury Road because I just got that recently. Uh, and there's it's, it's a menu and there's no play button on the TV player so I'll just show right now. But anyways, we are heading to Walmart right now to go gra gra grab a new DVD player. So it should be pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure they're not too expensive. So yeah. Are you hyped? Yes. I'm pretty hyped too. I waited like uh, four hours to watch this movie. Four hours, yep. I've waited so long to watch it in the projector. I watched it on my tiny, tiny screen and I was not satisfied at all. I need, I'm like, I need a projector to be big. But anyway, but yeah. Well, that's a cool car. At the police. <laughs> at the police. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, so we will see you hopefully at Walmart if I don't get too scared. Okay, so we finally set it up, right? I'm tired of the trailer. I know, I'm, I'm tired of the trailer. Even though it's it's cool, uh, it's the Black Mass trailer. But anyways, we got it set up. Uh, we got the DVD player set up, and now we are setting up our control. <laughs> so we'll see you once we get everything set up, and once the Mad Max menu should be there. Okay, so there's the Blu-ray. I got it a few days ago. But we got it set up. After like, oh, I'm like, I don't know. A few hours, five hours after five hours, yeah, of waiting and of patiently buying new things and reconnecting cables. Look at that mess down there, but it's worth it because it looks amazing. But, um, I think we're gonna wait for it to uh, for the sun to come down a little bit, which shouldn't take too long. But we're gonna eat right now, and then we'll uh, we'll see you once we're ready to watch the film. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look how amazing that looks. Woohoo! So we finally got it set up, and we are now ready to watch Mad Max Fury Road. Finally! Woo! Ah! Hey. <laughs> so um, this is one of my favorite movies of the year. Um, I I was so unsatisfied from my small TV displays. I'm like, no, I gotta go big or gotta go home, even though I'm at home. But yeah, we set up the projector, and now we're finally going to watch it. And I hope you enjoy it. It's really, really freaking crazy. Okay. Okay, we'll see you after the film. Is it crazy? Like, your mom? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> How are you liking the movie? It's insane, dude. <laughs> What'd you think? <laughs> it's over. It's over. That was crazy. I mean, it's so much better than the big screen. Yeah, I know. That's why I wanted to watch it on the big screen. Because, like, when I watched it on my uh, tiny, my tiny screen back there, I was like, I was not satisfied with it at all. And it wasn't anything compared to the first experience. Mm. But this is like maybe as close as I'm gonna get to a theater experience. So every time I'm gonna watch Mad Max, I know I'm gonna have to watch it up there. But anyways, what'd you think? First of all, it's different. It's a different type of movie, which, but it's creative. It's really creative with the franchise. I'm glad the, the director rebooted it. Or did a sequel. Or did a sequel. I don't even know what it is. I don't really care. It was great. Action scenes were great. It was really fun. It didn't even feel like, what, two hours? It's like two hours long, yeah. It didn't even feel like two hours at all. Mm -hmm. It was such an entertaining movie. It was great. That's it? Yeah. What would you rate this out of, out of my rating system? In, in and out? Nice. What about out of 10? I'd give it 8.9. 8.9. It's pretty good. It's still not my favorite movie of the year, but I still enjoy the hell out of it. Um, yeah, for like, this is my third time watching it, and I was pretty still entertained. And um, I'd give this a, a really high subway with 
meatball sandwich and bacon and chips and a large soda. But yeah, that was movie night. We took a long time to set up the projector. But was it worth it? It was worth it. It was really, really worth it. It looked incredible on there. But yeah, we're going to try to find, trying to see if we can find another movie to put on the projector. Because what I had to do actually was put the DVD into the new DVD player back there. And then sync up the sound with the Blu-ray player back there. You see the movie's playing right there too. And it's playing right there too. But yeah, thank you for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Hopefully I won't be too long. And yeah. Wow. Bye. Yeah, you pee. <laughs>